Bon giorno, princey face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, you always on my mind. And I know when I read, it comes across as really confident. Um, when I'm doing a video, but it's actually taking me like 10 minutes just to muster the courage to start this thing. Um, I have one video where I was trying to be like funny, and I was trying to like make all these faces and shit, and uh, I don't know. It, I don't know. I, I just don't want you to think that the confidence I exude on the video or on print is going to be overbearing when you talk to me, because I feel like I would actually be, uh, I'd feel a little awkward and insecure. At first, at first, I just don't see how it couldn't be like that, but I, I figured out and I figured we'd get into a groove. I guess I feel like I would be quiet, and I would want you to express yourself, and I'd want to hear what it is that you have to say. Um, but then I feel like you would misinterpret that and be like, well, how come you ain't talking? And then it's like, well, I mean, you want me to talk? I'll talk. I mean, I'll go on and on and on if you want to listen. And uh, I'll be more exciting, and I'll go ahead and kind of, you know, get the conversation going. Um, you know, so don't, don't, don't be fooled by my, you know, when I write, I have plenty of time to think about it and say exactly what it is uh, I want. And when I do videos, especially when I'm reading, I'm saying exactly what it is that I had written. So, you know, it's, uh, it's easier to kind of read a bunch of sentences together than to kind of just be talking of them off the top of your head. Uh, I don't know. At least it is for me a little bit. Okay, so, wrote your letter, several pages, so, bear with me. Okay. Yeah, today was a hard day. Today was hard. It kind of sucked. I felt like when you uh, did not want to tell me that you had loved me, I thought that was petty, and I thought it was silly, and it was hurtful. Okay. Yes, yes, I feel that you love me. Oh, my God. My Allah. Oh, my Allah. I, do I feel, do I feel your love? You know, that's the important part. The important part is that I feel it. And I feel loved um, by your attention. And I feel loved by your praise. And I definitely feel loved when you tell me. And I know that you love me a ton. You love me so much. I know. I know this. I know this. Um, I also know that you've got a lot going on. And I empathize with your struggle. And I love that you're a happy fighter. Because it shows that you understand the world in more accurate terms than others. Uh, but you got a twist on it. You say that you're smiling all the time and that you're happy, so you're a happy fighter. And I think this is wonderful. That's that's how I look at things. Tupac said the same thing. People are going to be mean whether you're miserable or happy, so might as well be happy. Struggle's always going to be there, but you can be mad and grumpy and miserable, or you can, you know, kind of uh, whistle while you work or take everything in stride. So it, it wasn't... It wasn't so much that I didn't, I doubted your love. I don't doubt your love. I just want to hear it. I just want to hear it more. I mean, I feel like I tell you all the time. I tell you hundreds of times all the time. Maybe too much. Maybe maybe I tell you too much and you're kind of like, ooh, I don't want to, I don't want to say a, a thousand times back to him that I love you. I mean, I'm seeing it to the mountaintops that I love you whenever you need to hear it. And it's not always easy. It's easy to tell, you know, that that you love me, um, but just pour my heart out, you know, that's, that's not easy for, for me to do, that, you know, that takes courage, it takes, I'm putting myself out there, and I don't know how you're going to take a lot of the things that I say, I have, I, I don't know, and that's why, you know, if, um, a phone call or video chatting, I would, you know, I'd be able, you'd be able to see more, and this is another reason I'm making video, because there's more to communication than just what I print on the paper, you get to hear the tone, you get to hear what it is that, um, how I'm saying it and what it is that I'm actually trying to say. It's more accurate. It's more precise. So, you know, like you, something you say, you like my frankness. And I wish I could be frank. I wish I could be frank when I'm defending myself. I wish I could be frank when I'm fighting for myself. But I don't I don't want to confront you. I don't ever want to confront you. I, I hope by having my feelings, being open with my feelings, I guess I'm hoping um, that me being open will make you open up more. Um, but I mean, you know how it feels like when I was down and I needed to hear something nice, it kind of took you to ma a minute to, uh, come up with something. But then when you started getting in the groove of how to express yourself, I think you enjoyed it. I think, uh, you were coming up with some sweet lines. I mean, you told me how fast you're going to be over here. Your heart is going to you know, walk over here. So you said, and I was joking. I appreciate it. My heart's, your heart's going to walk over here. It's like your walks. What, your your heart has legs? <laughs> what, is he going to walk over here? And you're like, no. No, my heart's got wings, not fucking legs. And it'll get there so quick, faster than you could close your eyes. Faster, before you can your eyes can close. 
Ah, oh, that was that was good. I needed to hear. I needed to hear it. Yeah, sure, sure. I would need to hear it for me, but I also I want you to hear it too for yourself. You asked me bef um, before why I was putting so much emotion for somebody so far away, but I could just as a easily ask you the same thing. I just I think we need each other. I think we need each other, and I know that I need you. I know I, I need you. I need you. I'm not sure exactly why you need me. I think that we need each other. I just don't know exactly what you think about me specifically. Um, but I do know you. I know you. I know you, okay? I know that, I mean... I don't know, just, I know you, you know, like, you said that you're going to marry to me, and I know how important that is with your religion, and I know that, um, I know, I know that you love me, I know that you love me, I know it, okay, so, it wasn't that I doubted your love, it wasn't that at all, um, I just wanted to hear it, right, so, uh, when I read your words, I see goodness, I see purity, I see love, I, I feel like I even understand your struggles, and wanted, I wanted to help out if I could, which is actually why I'm writing all of this. When I read your words, I see a strong, proud young woman who's being confident, who knows herself. I see a lot of strength in your words, um, how, how you fit in the world, and I think you have a good, you got a good idea of yourself and you know um, where you're at and how you kind of see the world. I think, I think you're, uh, the way you described it was accurate, and I think you know what you're doing. I, I have... The utmost confidence in you, um, but I also feel like you're struggling for something more. So I see, I see strength, I see beauty, I see struggle, I see all this in your words. Also, like your optimism and your hope and your faith in the better days ahead, and that everything will be okay. And your operating philosophy, I, <laughs> I love everything about you. I love, I love you a ton. Okay, I love, love you. I love, I love Amog Ali, my Egyptian sweet. Princess Dolce, I love you, okay, so, so, we need each other, okay, I'm an open book, I'm always here when you need me, at least I, I feel like I am, I, I am, I am, I mean, sometimes, you know, we, we have our attention, it's focused on different things, I'm in school now, so I'm going to be reading and studying more, and, you know, probably not be wanting to talk to you all the time, which is good, it's good, uh, you know, but when I'm, I'm studying, I'm not, I'm focused on the books, and you're always with me, but, you know, I'm focused on the books. So, I'm always here when you need me. I think that the only time you could ever doubt my love is when you pull away. I, I don't know what to do, okay? I, I know I can't ever hurt you. I can't, I can't get mad at you and say, why are you doing this? I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I can only kind of say, like, I'm hurt, and I wish you would, you know, have done this differently. That's all I can really say. Um, you know, I think Saturday, I think when I poured, you know, some of my uh, insecurities out to you, I feel like I, it was just a fear of abandonment. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to totally psychoanalyze with me, but I didn't want to confront you with my feelings. I have a, a fear of abandonment. Um, everybody I know goes away. It's just how life seems to me, and I think you understand this. I think you understand this. But I don't like to confront you because I, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to, me saying I'm frustrated, um, you know, or abandoned or hurt, uh, to, to somehow come across as, as, um, as you know, um, insulting. I, I mean, if you, ever, if you ever did stop feeling love towards me, I'd feel abandoned and I would feel hurt and I would feel disappointed. And that's it. And that's it. I would want to run away and hide. So... I don't know. I think there's, you could always doubt anything. You could doubt anything. You could doubt everything. There's, you know, there's plenty of doubts for what we're doing. Uh, but just like there's doubts for anything else, there's doubts for what can go on at work, at school, family, friends, politics, economics. You could doubt anything. So I think what one has to do is they got to will their optimism to defeat those doubts. So I'm not focused on hating the bad people as much as I used to because I'm busy loving you. I'm willing my optimism to, you know, not worry about the assholes. There's lots of assholes out here, but you're right. And just be around good people that's good to me, and I think all the rest will just fall into place. So, uh, and don't think about that Mime quote about the best revenge is for them not to see you suffer. It was for you. It was not for you, okay? It was for, for bad people. I mean, I think um, – it was for the bad people. There's just some people I don't want to talk to. Some people I don't want to see anymore. And I'd like to tell you more, but I don't. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Okay, 
And, and I, I'm not looking to you, for you to fix my conflicts or relationships. Just kind of listen. But you can, you can actually fix all my problems. You, you have fixed all my problems. I mean, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm, re I'm reborn. I, don't, I feel alive. I feel stronger. So, and the way that you did it is you love me. You fixed me because you loved me, okay? And you, you can't fix all my problems, and the world goes away just when you like something that I post or when you, you know, send something to me on Facebook. All my problems just goes away. I don't even, yeah, yeah, on a Saturday when I was sad, I, I was, you know, feeling, getting a lonely feeling. Uh, but as soon as you started talking to me about it, as soon as I knew you was on the other side and like you were, you, and you were so you know uh, considerate of my feelings, I I felt foolish. I mean, I was like, man, she totally loves me. She's listening to me. She's working this out with me, and I, I it was amazing. I thought it was good. I mean, it was like I don't know. It was a, it was a real couple thing. Real couples fight, and we're you know we're a real couple. We're a different kind of couple. <laughs> But I, I adore you. I love you. I'm, I'm here for you. Um, yeah. So, uh, so that's for the bad people. I don't bore you with my problems. Uh, but yeah, you can fix me just by telling you love me, and you tell me often, and that's it. That's it. You fix everything. You love me. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, I haven't been loved for, not really, and now I've got a bottomless pit of Princess Dolce, and yes, I want your love, and I want uh, all your time, and I need your love, and I need you, and I would love for you to tell me uh, every day to where I get sick of hearing it, you know, and you tell me you love me all the time, even when you don't say it. I think each and every like is love. Uh, every time you say, hey, how are you doing, or, you know, Good luck, or you know, uh, be happy. You, know, you tell me, be happy, and I, I know what you're saying. Okay, I know what you're saying, even if you're not saying it. Uh, but just sometimes you say that you have a hard time articulating what you feel about me. I wonder why this is, and I would like for you to try to more, and not just so I hear it, but so that you hear it. I, I wonder if today was because I made, I kind of made you tell me some things that you thought about me on a physical level that you had admitted to yourself, or maybe you didn't want to tell me. I'm, I don't know. It's your brain. I do know that sexual attraction is a part of love. It's not all of it, but it is a part. I'd also like for you to articulate, you know, what love is to you. I want to love you. I want to love you the way you want to be loved. But and you have to tell me. You'd have to tell me. I'll, I'll keep expressing myself and having affirmations. But um, I, I guess I guess I wouldn't get tired of you saying that you love me. So I guess I guess you wouldn't feel any different. Um, uh, but I also want to talk about you know important things too. But like uh. I want you to know, I want you to articulate what love is, what makes you feel loved, what do you expect from me, just think about it, that's it, that's it, and the only thing I know about loving you, the only thing I know, okay, when I'm loving you is that just, I'm not going to leave, I'm just not going to leave, I'm just, I'm just going to always be here, I'm just not going to leave, okay, um, I'm always going to be anxious for you, I'm always going to be longing for you, always, till you push me away, and you say no more, and I work, I, you know, I work on other things, but my my mind is all about you. It's it's all it's all you. Even when I sit here to study Spanish, I feel like you're here with me. When I go to school or move or look for work, you you're you're here. You're here with me. So I mean, I got I got Destino's workbooks. I got I got study guide number one, right? I got study guide number two. I got textbook, Destino's. So. So when I sit down and I study Spanish, I feel like I'm studying with you, even though you're not, you're not even around, you know, to, to, to hear me try to articulate, you know, Spanish words. You know, que pasa, mi amigo, right? <laughs> que pasa. Um, this is actually the only, I know a couple more. Yo soy, Jonathan Masters, um, Yo quiero, Taco Bell, <laughs> Yo quiero, Magali. So... Uh, there's a bunch of things. It's getting to 13 minutes, man. This is two pages. This might be like three or four videos. This is this is like a I'm running the gauntlet here. I got 30 seconds. Okay, so actually, I feel like you've you <laughs> you've opened me up in in a whole different ways. I feel like with your love, I can um, open up and kind of you're showing me how to love, and I feel like I kind of want to love everybody. I mean, I don't I want to be exclusive, but I don't want to kind of be real closed up the way I was before. I even think I respect Christians more because of you. Christianity overall has brought, brought so much bloodshed and hierarchy and oppression. And many Christians are the exact opposite of what Jesus taught. And it's really frustrating, you know. Um, 
more more on that thought next video all right